you kind of have a dialogue when you, when you make work and you put things out there. To me, I don't feel like I've explored where I really want to go. To do something else, then it would be a whole other kind of struggle to get people to notice it, and I just haven't got the time. And I don't really like shock just for the sake of it. It would be very easy to do something that's very shocking. I want to sort of find something that reveals a bit more about me. It's hard enough getting what I'm already doing out there and trying to figure a way to make some money. I don't know if I could ever make a living out of it. Uh, hang on, let me backtrack a little bit. Making marks is evidence of the self. There is a need to evidence ourselves outside of ourselves. Evidence that we exist, that we're here. I never need to really feel alone because I always have the creative process as a, as a companion. I still feel that being able to make artwork, being able to draw is a complete privilege and a gift. It's completely sacred to me. That's a fantastic, liberating feeling. The painting is called We're All Falling, but we never learn about it till we land. It was inspired by things from the turn of the century that couldn't be imagined to be true that had turned into a reality. There was a foot and mouth crisis in England and there was also 9-11 in America. With the 9-11 where people were falling off buildings and it was things that you couldn't imagine possibly happening, it had a really profound effect on me. I just made a choice, I made a decision when I was really young. I thought, I've got to, you know, I've got to make one of these. Little realising that I, I could only make the exterior. As a kid, I thought, you know, I would be able to make everything. You don't know what you can't do as, as a three-year-old boy. So I honestly, genuinely believed that I could make a time machine. The magic of making something, it just seems unlimited. You can make anything. Art first really came into my life when I was a child. I used to love drawing all the time. I went to West Kent College in Tunbridge to study graphic design. It was interesting because a lot of my briefs through, through the two year course solutions for me were more three-dimensional. I would be turning up with totem poles sticking out the, the sunroof of my car and crazy things like that. And then I was diagnosed with RP. It's a progressive eye disease which ultimately ends up with blindness. The sculpture is more about tactileness and, and using forms and being able to feel what you're doing and of course that's how I actually do my work now. It definitely was meant to be, I think, whatever happens it's going to work out okay. I love glass. You can pick a piece of glass up and you know what to do with that piece.
people want to touch it, it actually gets more a response than a painting does. It's always a surprise when you're working with the camps. I think all art is about observation. With a piece of art, I think you have to stop and look and consider. And I don't think I'm really an artist. I don't have the confidence. So I thought, well, I'll do this to see what happens. I don't really know quite where I'm going with it until I, I finish, really. I can remember things on the radio, I listened to it at the same time time is doing it and the idea is really that you do it almost unconsciously. You're mindful of how you breathe and how you feel and slow down a bit which is sometimes what I need to do because I make myself busy in so many other ways. <laughs> 